yes another video from me well i did say yesterday that messages were coming through hard and fast and i did say yesterday that i had another three things on my list that i wanted to talk about now there's 10 but i have a very very pressing blog that i want to do about today that i want to share and i think this month of december is going to be pretty much like this so so yeah prepare to see me a lot on the on the screen um because there's a lot coming through but i want to talk about and dive straight in with it cancer Cancer, cancer, cancer. Cancer is everywhere right now. It is exploding left, right and centre. I have people in my life that is their third time round with cancer. It's crazy, okay? So we're not talking the big C as in Corona. That's like so like whatever. We're talking cancer, okay? So everything is changing. The old way is collapsing, all right? So we beg the question, so why is all this illness flaring up and exploding in our face? Because it's rule of thumb not just to do with cancer just in general when you all of a sudden find things just like looking a lot worse out there or around you that means that you're getting closer to the higher vibrational stuff because it's like a detox i've said it before you know you want to clean the body okay you do your juice detox whatever first of all you've got to go through that phase of just extreme spots and your skin looking gray and your hair getting greasy and then all of a sudden you start to get to that high vibration and then your body cleanses and you're like a twinkly little star so that's no different to how we move through our lives and our personal stuff and in the world everybody's going it's the end of the world because of corona crazy cr uh, cancer exploding everywhere all this kind of stuff so does that mean that the end of the world is night no that means finally we can basically bring all the shit up to the center to the surface so we can clear it because if it's buried down there in the dark nooks and crannies i mean like there's no chance that we're going to be able to bring it all up so we can get rid of it right this is cancer okay i have two very very close people to me um that have cancer third time round second or third time round basically it's not their first rodeo so very aggressive cancers, you know, uh, the kind of ones where you're told, well, we can't really do much for you or the tumor's in the very, very dodgy place and it's, it, can't be, it can't be worked on like any normal cancer, whatever normal is. So I have been working very closely, like one-on-one. -on -one. Um, well, actually I've been working closely with both of them, more of a support for my other sister and then for the, for the other sister, I've been working with my work directly. But what's actually happened is as I started to work with these beautiful beings who are suffering this terrible cancer, other people have come out the woodwork. And I've started to connect with people as, you know, all over the world. There's people in my space who've got these beautiful healing modalities. And it's all that we've all just, we've, what's happened is we've all started to form this vessel. So within this vessel, there's me, there's a couple of other practitioners, and there's a couple of people in there which are suffering the cancer itself. So the way I see this is, we are contracted to meet each other at this particular time, at the big shift, at the big shift from 2020 to 221 and above, 5D energy, new earth, blah, blah, blah. There's no mistaking that we will found each other at this time. I have been spiritually contracted, this part of my agreement, to be the one that heals, as a couple of other people in this vessel have as well. There's two people in here that have spiritually agreed to take on the cancer three times, okay? And then they've all come in and we've all met each other now. So we're all vibing each with each other, supporting each other, and we're all healing each other. And let me tell you, things are shifting in a massive, massive way. So why would this vessel all come together now? Because there's a new way for cancer. And I said in the very, very beginning that the people that are getting sick with cancer now are the ones who are actually going to connect with it, not just from a medical perspective, they're going to connect with it energetic energetically it's going to be the golden ankh the golden key once they connect with their their illness in the energetic realms and start to connect with their power rather than giving their power away to the medical okay that's when the magic happens but it's about finding that neutral balance because a lot of the people that get sick they're either all medical or they're all spiritual and that doesn't work even though you're all spiritual that's not the answer it's about being neutral in the middle being supported by the medical being supported by the spiritual in a way it's like divine masculine that's the structure and the on the ground stuff the systems to help you um you know to, with your healing but then that has to be equally met by the energetic which is the divine feminine everything in divine balance you can't be in too much of your feminine doing the healing otherwise you know you 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 can you, yeah, you're just not going to win so you get what's so everything everything we do in this life i always talk about divine masculine and feminine it all comes back to that whether you, whether you're a cancerous sufferer or something else right so here we are going back to this vessel that we're all in. So we've all been contracted. 
So it's not that the, my two friends are carrying cancer because they're the ones that are disempowered and all that. In fact, they're more badass warriors than me and the practitioners that are working with them because they're the ones that agreed. Their soul agreed to carry that cancer, to be almost like a spiritual guinea pig because they knew that they could walk that path, which is a heavy one. I mean, those of you that are resonating with this video, you either know someone, you either, you either have cancer, had cancer, whatever. You know there's going to be a lot of resonance here. So you know you know what it's like to basically live with such an illness or live around that illness. It's, it's on another level, right? So their path, their, their, their purpose, their contract is way more intense than mine. So I have to honor these beautiful friends of mine that have agreed to do this contract work with us as practitioners for us to move together and, and heal, okay? And then show the rest of the world how Cancer is just an energy. It's, it's, you know, that everything is energy, right? And if you start to look at that with those eyes, then you can dismantle anything, okay? Soon as you get stuck in the words of your terminal, you've only got this long to live, sorry for you, boom, and finished. You've given all your power away to that doctor's diagnosis. You've given all your power away to what somebody else has told you. Whereas if you hold that and go, okay, so I'm at the end of the road with the, with the medical, that's cool. That's given me an awful lot to work with. Now let me look at my energetic side and let me let me work with the power that I have within. Because if you agree that you basically don't want to live a full life, then you can have it, right? But also as well with that, and this also must be understood, illnesses obviously are also exit points. So some people do have cancer that have actually agreed to exit the planet and that's their doorway they choose to go through. But then there's an awful lot of beings who are the ones that we're going to step forward to transmute the illness. They're the ones that basically haven't chosen it as an exit point, have chosen to have that cancer, to have the illness. But their purpose of their soul and their spiritual, you know, their spiritual contract is to actually be sick, get, you know, have the sickness and then come out the other side. And like I say, when you when you come out the other side and, and, and you transmute the illness within you, you are the grid work of the planet. So therefore, you the grid, weight, grid work for God for all of us you send that healing and message to all of us so if there's if you remember if you heal for yourself you heal for all that resonates with all of us so you know it's it's the, the path that's walked for the person that has cancer that is not deciding to take it as an exit point it's more of a spiritual contract you know that is powerful powerful grid work it's powerful soul contract work so that's the way i'm seeing it right now so now i want to go on to uh the hope that i want to bring through on this video which is really, really powerful. So over, over the full moon, um, the full moon eclipse, which was about a week or so ago, okay, um, my one friend, um, she's in hospital. I said, wow, okay, you're in hospital. And she's like, yeah, you know, um, my tumor's bleeding, you know, due to the cancer. Or, my, or I have internal bleeding due to the cancer. So I'm just like, right, okay, all right, no problem. That's That feels, that felt like to me is a good thing. I mean, medically they say, oh, that's really bad. But for me, I was just like, well, that's something. Then I get a message from my other friend who happens to message me and say, wow, I'm in hospital because my tumor's bleeding. What? So I'm like, well, both of you girls went into hospital with your cancerous tumors, both started bleeding over the full moon eclipse. Okay, like, you know... I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. But energetically, we could be onto something here. So then, I'm now just speaking to my friend who just messages me now, sat having her chemo, and the lady next to her, her tumours also started to bleed over this time as well. So then I speak to my friend in Canada. You know who you are. <laughs> And she works, her work is very, very powerful in the, in the cancer realm. She's just come across a way where she can distance work on, on, on your energy and actually clear all the density out the way. I mean, that's a whole nother post, but you know, this is what, what has come through to her. And she says to me, oh yeah, 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 I, I have got some information on this somewhere. Like, you know, that the actual download is that, that when the, when the tumor, when the tumor bleeds, it's actually clearing the cancer. Now this is not medical. Don't even try and Google, Dr. Google this. This is, we're talking us spiritual life beings that take pure channel and we connect in different realms. You won't find it in medical book because you'll probably be told that what we're talking is shit. Do you know what I mean? So like, let's not do the comparison, but I just want to share with you what came through on this side. And all I can do is share with you my truth because this resonates very deeply with me. So if it does resonate with you, then winner. If it doesn't, leave it alone, move on. Happy days. 
Anyway, this friend of mine basically says, okay, so this is this is what I believe to be true because this is what's come through. I have information on this that when the tumor bleeds, the cancer's clearing herself. Now, this one friend of mine had a dream a long time ago that her guides showed her in the dream that this, this tumor would bleed and it was indeed clearing herself. And then she was like, blow me down. This is actually happening now. Oh, oh my God. So all of this, like all of these jigsaw piece puzzles all coming together, you know, and fitting. So I sit here right now sharing the this video of hope because it's important sharing this high vibration and understanding of what cancer is all about and sharing with you the positive results that have happened thus far with these beautiful beings that have agreed to walk this path with this very very heavy contract and what is actually happening for them right now and I will actually report as we go through this, because I think in a way this is kind of going to turn out to be a video diary. But what's actually happening is, is all of us beings that have come together, you know, we are all, we all are being called together for a reason is what I'm saying. And, you know, we cannot sit here and go into the new realms, the new earth, the new vibration in separation, because you just just not going to happen. Because cancer and what you believed about it before is separation. Okay, and cancer is all about nurturing, right? Or lack of nur nurturing. Tumors, tumors are about neglect. So with that all being so, um, not not nurturing yourself, not loving yourself, neglect, all of that shit is basically as a result of separation. That falls on that side to do with basically prior, prior 2020 and, you know, before. That whole world is collapsed. It's falling away. It's fallen away. So we need to understand and know that where we're going is not about separation and lack and neglect. It's actually about oneness and wholeness. So I come back to the center again. Why would cancer be exploding around all of us, in all of us, in this now time? If the old paradigm has fall away, fallen away and what is being embodied in each and every one of our cells is oneness, wholeness, no separation, truth. Why would this illness be exploding now in that vibration? Because you need to see the truth of what cancer is. And it's something that can be transmuted, broken down, disconnected, and thrown with that, all that came prior. So see how this video sits with you. And I hope that it does bring some of you some hope, you know, and I do hope that it, it kind of like hits the mark and maybe, maybe activates a different understanding within you of what this is all about because doom and gloom, the end is nigh, kind of all that bullshit. Um, no, even if the end is nigh, if the end is coming, well, there's a new beginning because it's just infinite, right? So I leave you with that. I thank you for listening to this video and I thank you for listening um, to um, all of my perceptions and truths. And I just want to emphasize again, because cancer is a very, very uh, delicate subject matter. This is just what I have brought through through my channel guidance and my experience. And and I have to share that with you. And where you go with that isn't completely up to you. So, yeah, it just gets delivered to you with love and I leave it on the table. Love and gratitude. Peace.